We begin tonight with breaking news. Calls and emails flood into NBC 10 News after reports of several loud bangs. This is in Northeast Philadelphia and Lower Bucks County. 9.30 tonight, the fire department started getting multiple calls of what some people here describe as a possible explosion. Uh, some people I've been talking to here at the scene tell me that it actually felt like a minor earthquake. Whatever it was at this point, investigators have been able, have not been able to determine what that uh, explosion was or if it was even an explosion, but uh, people out here say it lasted only a few seconds. Here's what some of those folks had to say. Heavy tremor. Describe it. The vibration, the house vibrated several times. One heavy several times vibration. About a year and a half ago, uh, my wife and I were sitting in the front room during the evening, and we noticed that we began hearing and feeling a very loud vibration outside. Uh, we really didn't acknowledge it at the time, but a year and a half later, the vibrations and the rumblings have become so intense that it's disrupted our daily lives. Uh, the rumblings begin almost immediately in the morning and proceed throughout the evening, getting stronger in intensity. Um, it's hard to kind of say where we think it's coming from, but we know that it is coming from the west side of Windsor over into the industrial area. I live in South Windsor. Uh, we started hearing some of the rumbling noises in about February. Initially, I thought it might be something related to uh, a loud bass or subwoofer in someone's car or maybe uh, an idling truck, and I kept looking for that, but never saw anything of the sort. Um, and then in time, I started noticing greater frequency and patterns, particularly in the evenings, um, where this noise was occurring. and. Uh, it really culminated in an incident uh, at the end of May, May 31st. I was watching a, a basketball game and it was incredibly loud. The vibrations, you could feel them coming through the house and, uh, and through the windows. We went out to see what it was and it was just so intense. Exactly where these, uh, these vibration rumblings uh, noises are coming from. Uh, last night around uh, between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. I visited those homes, visited some areas and uh, it was a real um, strong uh, vibration that had come from the ground. Now to that earthquake that most likely shook you on your lunch today. That's right. A 2.7 magnitude quake rocked the Dalton area just before noon. News Channel 9's Natalie Janareski joins us now with reaction from those who felt it firsthand. Natalie. Good evening. While some people in Dalton were pretty sure that the rumble was an earthquake, others were convinced it was something else. Point seven quake, but he wasn't the only one who was curious about what caused the ground to shake beneath his feet. Wait for number one. Um, I live on Rainsong Road, and I just wondered if you know what caused the explosion that just shook my whole house. The U.S. Geological Survey didn't officially deem the shake a quake until two hours after people say they felt the ground rattle and heard a loud boom in the air. I thought it was kind of like a huge explosion or a sonic boom because there was a little noise at first, and then a loud explosion and it felt I felt it right between my shoulders something is shaking the southeast and it has been for quite some time a little freaked out yeah a little freaked out Jody Smith was enjoying a Saturday morning with her son Roman my son was playing just across the room and felt and heard something and he had time to stand up and walk over across the room to me and say mommy what was that many in her Carolina Beach neighborhood ran outside it feels like a Mack truck driving by and just it shakes your whole house. A shaking feeling and more than just a rumble of thunder or, um, or, or a truck going by. I went to Facebook and I said, did anyone else in Carolina Beach just feel a, a small earthquake? And within minutes, people were posting from all over town saying, I felt it in Mayfair, I felt it at Pine Valley. Dozens posted on her wall and thousands have reported the noises up and down the coast on various websites from Georgia to Virginia, with speculative explanations ranging from the ordinary, like military aircraft. Also tonight, a developing story near Hazard in Perry County. ABC 36 News has confirmed an explosion in the Lothair community of Perry County. Police say witnesses reported seeing a fireball. A lot of people in the area, including in Hazard, say they felt the explosion rumble the earth. Police are investigating right now. We, of course, will have more on that as we get it.
Noon, fire officials are investigating a possible explosion in Perry County. That's our top story at noon. WYMT Mountain News at 6 starts now. There are still no answers as to what caused an apparent explosion in Perry County last night. Well, a lot of our viewers reported hearing a loud boom across the Central Coast today. A representative from Lockheed Martin says it may have been created by an F-22 Raptor. Well, here's a question for you. Are you feeling a little shaky this week? Uh, if you are, you're not alone. Over the past 48 hours, there has been some kind of a steady rumble. What many people believe are earthquakes in the capital area, tremors across the southern island, powerful enough to send some folks running for the doorway. The shaking has some people scared, but most are just flat out puzzled. Seismologists say there have been no earthquakes and they can't solve the mystery. CTV's Joe Perkins has the story. He joins us live. Joe. It's clear that people on Vancouver Island felt something in the last couple of days. Some say it was a shake or a tremor. Others go as far as to say it was an earthquake. The most fitting name, though, is just like you said, Hudson, a mystery. They're the type of explosives used on construction sites up and down Vancouver Island, including a site in the heart of downtown Victoria. The dynamite would explain what people downtown felt yesterday. It would have to be an extraordinarily large explosion for people in Souk to feel a Victoria blast. Likely much larger than this. A blast not enough to shake a nearby glass of water. Even similar blasts closer to Souk or View Royal would be hard pressed to cause a tremor or something similar. So why the tweets and the calls? There was definitely a, a shift and a shake and, a, and, and it seemed exactly like an earthquake. But it wasn't. I'm Chris Phillips. And I'm Kaki Catlett. Big booms and shaking were felt across the Cape Fear today and have some people worried. What shaking seems to be the question on everyone's mind today. After more mysterious movements were felt this morning, WWAY's Katie Harden is here now with more. Katie. Chris, people are booming with Big Bang theories on what they say causes the mysterious rocking and rolling along our coast. Anything that, that, that can shake the houses, not just one or two houses, but a whole neighborhood, and it can be heard from Southport to Bolivia and Sunset Harbor, it has to be something big. Folks across the Cape Fear say the mysterious booms are back, and this time they seem stronger than ever. People had different experiences depending on where they were at the time. It says a quake hit with a 2.5 magnitude and happened exactly at 8.11 p.m. I don't think we'd feel it, but it's obviously somebody did that. Huh? Our newsroom was inundated with calls, people asking what that loud boom was, many saying it felt like something had crashed into their home. Wow, well, it just happened in Alpine the other day, too. I thought that it was impossible. Here in El Paso. But getting a tremor or two here in El Paso. In the junk drawer tonight, Clintonville, Wisconsin residents say their homes rattled after explosion like noises woke them up last night, and city leaders are still trying to figure out just what caused it all. Some residents recalled hearing a loud boom around 9 o'clock Sunday night. Around between 2 and 3 o'clock this morning, police phone lines were jammed with calls from a 13 block area. Callers reported not just hearing loud booms, but rumbling in the ground that shook them right out of their homes. After checking out possible gas leaks and utility and storm sewers, officials say nothing out of the ordinary has been discovered so far. Let's go to that breaking news now from Clintonville, where dozens of people have reported more booming noises. City Administrator Lisa Kuss has been very busy the last week and a half trying to get to the bottom of all of this, and she joins us on the phone with some details of what happened last night. Oh, and breaking news now, it appears those booms that had folks in Clintonville rattled have returned. And there were dozens of reports in a matter of minutes late last night. And a mysterious blast in Souk did more than just get people talking this week. They brought down a barn on a family's farm on Otter Point. In January, CTV News first told you about that series of mysterious rumblings felt from Souk to Victoria, attributed to blasting on the Washington coast, but the folks in Souk say this didn't feel quite the same. It didn't have the same effect. CTV's Stephanie Sherlock has the story. I was in the house and it shook my house and rattled a few things on shelves. The three separate blasts did more than just rattle dishes. They took down this barn. Sharon and her family aren't the only ones who heard the blasts. Neighbors in the area say they too heard the three blasts. These people across the street heard them, but their property didn't suffer any damage. News starts now. 
Now at five, mysterious booms. We've told you about the loud sounds in Clintonville, and now similar noises are heard in Montello. In Montello today, a loud rumble last night that was apparently loud enough to shake walls and rattle windows. Last night, the police department there received several reports of a loud rumble and a loud noise around 5.30. Police say they are investigating, but so far, they don't have an explanation. There was a loud boom, and all the windows shook, the whole house shook. And I looked out and couldn't see smoke or flames or anything. Today, University of Wisconsin-Madison seismologist Harold Tobin said that he was not aware of any seismic readings or reports of the boom near Montello. Well, there's nothing to suggest that fracking is the cause of a series of quakes that has jolted a small corner of New Brunswick. The tremors have been happening in the village of McAdam for several weeks now. They haven't caused any major damage, but they've left many residents rattled and wondering if they're safe. Bang, and I'm telling you, the whole room shook and the floor couldn't believe it. Well, could it be sympathy booms, or are people in Baraboo really hearing them too? Police are investigating weekend reports of booms and flashes of light, and Jennifer Cleasy went to Baraboo to find out what's going on. South County 911, where's your emergency? Uh, well, I don't know. I just heard an explosion go off somewhere. It's a big boom that shakes the whole house. Yeah. Both booms accompanied by a flash of light. More than a dozen callers describing the sound of blasting dynamite or a gunshot. Big story at 10. Neighbors in Clintonville say they're scared to go to sleep tonight after a series of unexplained explosions. The blasts and tremors sent people out into the street in their pajamas overnight. Now they fear it could happen again. Heather Burke is in the Wapaka County town tonight with more on this mystery. People in this community won't stop coming up to us tonight, telling us that they're still hearing this loud boom tonight, and then they feel the ground shake just a little bit. Now this boom isn't coming up from the sky, but rather it's coming from down below. It's scary loud. It's loud enough to where it makes, it makes your heart stop for a second. People in a Louisville neighborhood are looking for the source of a house shaking experience. People in Louisville about loud booms that were shaking all of the homes in the neighborhood. 3 o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden we heard a loud explosion. It sounded like it came from our house. Like it shook the walls, it shook the floor, it shook the ceiling. Like a big boom, like a big sonic boom. Dwayne Jones is one of about a dozen neighbors we spoke with who echoed Wombold's story. It started about a week and a half ago, I guess. Just the whole house shakes. I've never heard anything like it. Yeah, really. I mean, we call the USGS. There are no earthquakes anywhere in the area. Now to that big bang that shook houses and rattled nerves from San Francisco to Las Vegas Sunday morning. Some thought it was an earthquake. Others saw a massive fireball in the sky. We're getting several calls from all over the city. People in northwest Reno and Verdi felt their house shake. Did you feel it? There was a mysterious boom felt around the county this morning, shaking windows. And of course, it has a lot of people talking. It happened before 830, and it didn't take long for the comments to start filling up our NBC San Diego Facebook page. Of course, people were asking if there was an earthquake and leaving comments about what they felt and heard. So now the big question is, what was it? San Diego throughout something happened in the atmosphere that was, you know, uh, distributed widely. Um, so what I guess, how does that make the what people felt, you know, like the shaking and the rattling with with the um, windows? Well, it's just it's that boom, you know, when when a libel thing likely is a fleet of planes. A fleet of planes. Now, can you tell me how would this have been different if it were an earthquake? I haven't experienced an earthquake, so but I'm sure most people here know well, the difference. Well, we'll we'll arrange one for you here pretty <laughs> soon here. <but laughs> I haven't experienced an earthquake, so but I'm sure most people here know well, the difference. Well, we'll we'll arrange one for you here pretty <laughs> soon here. But, but 